Okay, these are your notes on uh, biochemistry, specifically uh, structure and properties of water. Okay, um, here is your basic target, and these notes will cover half of it. Okay, so the target says I can explain the structure and properties of water and the four macromolecules that make up all living things. We are just in this particular uh, video doing structure and properties of water. Okay. So the structure of water, it's basically two hydrogen atoms and an oxygen atom, okay? Hydrogen, hydrogen, oxygen. Hydrogen, hydrogen, oxygen. And these two little wings over here are the hydrogens and this part is the oxygen, okay? H2O, two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Now they, they have charges with them uh, and that is that the larger oxygen molecule is negatively charged, as you can see there, and that little negative charge and the smaller hydrogen atoms are more positively charged. Positive, 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 positive. Okay, now that makes one side of the water molecule positively charged and one side of the water molecule negatively charged. And that's termed polar, like a polar molecule is a positive end and a negative end. It's like a little battery, okay? And because of that, because of the positive end and the negative end, they act like little tiny magnets. And they'll stick to stuff, they'll stick to each other, um, um, just like magnets do. Okay, the properties then that depend on this, like water behaves in a certain way because it has a positive side and a negative side. Okay, and the properties are adhesion, cohesion, and capillary action. Those are the three that we're going to go over um, in the next few minutes. So the first one, adhesion, is when water uh, is attracted to some other substance or some other surface. Okay, so the the uh, positive and negative sides of the water molecule are attracted to positive and negative sides of some other thing, okay? So this little picture here shows a row of water molecules flipped up. There's the negatively charged oxygen attracted to the positive charge of whatever surface this happens to be. So it is a row of water here attracted to the surface that it's laying on, and those two things then kind of stick together, okay? On this next picture, the little droplets are sticking to the plant. So again, water sticking to a different substance or a different surface is the surface of the plant. And that's not because necessarily because of ridges or whatever, it's because of positive and negative charges. Okay, again, water droplets on a spider web, the droplets are sticking to the web like little magnets attracted to a different substance. Okay, that is adhesion. Cohesion is when water is attracted to itself or one water molecule is attracted to another water molecule. And so water sticks together. So this little water droplet here is tons and tons and tons and tons of little tiny water molecules in there. Lots of them. Okay. It's just a cool picture with a little blue flower in there. It has nothing to do with cohesion of water. So um, the little droplet is formed because water sticks to itself. Now it's also stuck to the leaf down here. That's adhesion. Okay, but cohesion allows kind of for this drop to form because the water sticks to itself. And if you were to zoom all the way in here, you would see lots of little individual water molecules sticking together. Okay, so we zoom all the way in and you've got, here's a water molecule. The positive hydrogen of this water molecule is attracted to the negative oxygen of a different water molecule. Okay, again, hydrogen of one water molecule is attracted to the oxygen of a different water molecule. Positive, like lots of little, 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 tiny, tiny magnets all sticking together that allows water to form droplets. Okay, so all these stuck together form water drops. And we'll do some demos in class that'll, that'll illustrate some of these points as well. Okay, the last one is a little bit confusing. It's called capillary action. It's a combination of adhesion and cohesion that allows water to um, kind of rise up through some kind of a narrow space or a narrow tube. So here's our little narrow tube and these little blue things are the water molecules let's say and they are attracted to each other and they form kind of this little surface tension here. And then the adhesion part are water molecules that are literally attracted to these the edge of this tube and they kind of creep up the sides and if the tube is narrow enough the strength of the connection between the water molecules it kind of pulls the water up along with it. So this goofy picture over here, the narrower the tube, they're easy, like the water molecules essentially climb up the tube because they can, they essentially pull each other up 
with adhesion and cohesion. Here's a like water in a basement creeping up against the force of gravity because the narrow little spaces between the concrete, the water just can go um, right up through those and pull the rest of the water with it. So capillary action is a combo of adhesion and cohesion. And, uh, you know, that just about does it. Thanks.